was at the airport in August, uh, mid-August, uh, traveling to Orlando and just wanted to kind of fill you in on some of the differences that I seen at the airport um, this time around. You know, when you arrive at the airport, uh, everyone was wearing their masks and we went up to the checking counter and everybody was socially distanced. Um, it didn't take very long. There wasn't as many people around. Um, you know, we went up to the security line and I did my TSA pre-check and zipped right through security. My um, partner that was traveling with me did not do TSA pre-check and she was only about five to 10 minutes behind me. We got on the other side of security and you know, I would say about half um, the things were open from restaurants to shops and that sort of thing and uh, got on board and they social distanced us all the way, you know, getting on, they boarded us from back to front and we had a seat and our flight went really well and the flight attendants were kind of back and forth and um, when we arrived in Orlando, same kind of thing, you know, masks and socially distanced and we were on our way to Disney. Back in August, I did travel to Cabo San Lucas. It was my first international trip since COVID. I was really excited. I had looked at the airfares, I looked at the airlines, I looked at the hotel I was staying in. I felt pretty confident, um, but I wanted to give you guys a little feedback on my experience. Next up is the resort. I did stay at Hard Rock Los Cabos. Um, they have a safe and sound program that they have put into place and it's by Ecolab. So you know that it's going to be um, a really good program. Um, first up, um, when you arrive, your luggage is sprayed down. You are asked to step on some sanitizer for your shoes. Your temperature is taken and then you are headed into the lobby. Now, while you are indoors, all masks are required, um, whether you're walking from point a, point a to point B, while you're getting to a restaurant. But of course, once you sit down, you are allowed to take your mask off in the restaurants. For the rooms, once the maids are done cleaning, they put a sticker on your door saying that it has been safe and sound checked. Um, open the door, everything has been sanitized, everything has been um, kind of decluttered. So your everyday items are now out of the room if you do need them or extra towels or anything you call down to zero, they'll bring it up for you. Um, housekeeping is every three days. Otherwise, you're kind of on your own, but they are very accommodating if you need extra towels, if you need anything, um, they're there. They can call up and they'll bring it to you. Um, room service is now a QR code, just like the rest of the restaurants. There is no menus or anything. Everything is done via your phone, which is awesome. Keeps everything sanitized. Um, social distancing around the pool. They've taken out pool chairs. Um, restaurants, again, they're only seating at certain tables. There's signs on the table saying this one is blocked off for social distancing. All, all servers, all waitresses, everyone that works on property is wearing a mask. They are not allowed to take off the mask while they were on property. Um, so yeah, I felt very safe. I felt safer there than I did in Florida, to be honest with you. I knew the, I know the hotel, the resort was taking all the precautions, the airport employees, the transfer company. Um, I had to wear a mask while in the transfer. They had hand sanitizer ready for me. Um, everyone was taking care of me and making sure that they were safe and I was safe. Never once did I feel unsafe. Um, I can't wait to go back. I'm actually headed to Cancun Riviera Maya in November and going to experience the Caribbean side of Mexico and give feed I can give you feedback on that as well. <music> 